In this video, I'm going to talk about working with arrays of objects. It's not going to be too bad, but there's a little, couple of tricky things. So let's talk about it. So I have a class here called worker, and you can see this is nothing new to you. A worker has two instance fields, a name and a salary. Here's the constructor. And then I just have a couple of methods to get the name of the worker and get the salary of the worker. No big deal. And then in my other class, I have a class called worker array. Now worker array is a class. It's not quite an array, but it contains an instance field called employees. Employees is an array of worker objects. Now I drew myself a picture of this because it can be a little bit confusing. So let me, let me bring that on the screen here if I can. So this is my picture. Yeah. Nice drawing job, huh? So this is what a worker looks like. A worker is an object, of course, so it points to this box here. It points to the object. And I, you know, I just made up Sam is making 54 grand, I suppose. Well, what is this class worker array? Well, a worker array is not really pointing to an array. It's pointing to an object, right? A worker array is a class, so I made a box for that. Inside of that class, is an array called employees. Here's my array called employees. This is so this is my instance variable here. And employees is an array of worker objects. Yeah, so it's uh, it's a little confusing, but employees is an array inside of my worker array class and it's an array of worker objects. So keep that in mind. All right, let's move on. I really just want to talk about one method in this class, and the method is get high salary, which gets the highest salary of an employee. Who would have thought? So I'm initializing a variable called high to zero. I'm assuming that somebody makes more than zero dollars and name to nothing. Now, of course, if you're looking for the highest or lowest value in an array and you have no idea what the array contains, it's always a good idea to initialize the highest or lowest to the first item in the array and compare to that. Anyway. So here's my for loop, and I'm going from zero to the length of the array. Remember, my, my array is called employees. It's an array of worker objects. And then just a couple of things that I want to point out. The first thing I'm doing in my if statement is I'm checking to make sure that employees x is not equal to null, right? I want to make sure that that the item inside of my array called employees is not equal to null. And if it's not equal to null, then I can run the method get salary on employees x. Now this is a little bit weird. I don't know if you've quite seen this notation before, but employees x, of course, is an item in my employees array, which is a worker, right? So employees x is a worker. I'm running the get salary method on a worker. Well, that makes total sense, right? Employees x is a worker. All right. So if that's greater than the high salary, then I'm just setting high to that employee's salary and name to that employee's name. So really, it's just this notation that I wanted to point out, that if I want to run a method on employees x, well, of course, that's a worker, so I'm running a worker method. And that's it. Oh, I just wanted to mention one other thing, and that is, of course, I'm checking to make sure that employees x is not null, and that's the first part of my and statement, right? Because if it is null, I don't want to run a method on a null object. That'll give me an error. I'll get a null pointer exception. All right, short video, but get to work, and thanks so much for watching.